For thousands of years, human beings have been in battle with each other. Ironically, it seems like it's the one thing that brings everyone together. War can of course be very damaging on you. Being barraged by bombs and bullets sometimes takes lives or injures people physically. But many don't realize the psychological impact of war. Sun Tzu spoke about how the best way to defeat your enemy is to get into their mind. And one of the most effective ways to do this is with sound. I'm Charlie, and today we're going to look at the creepiest sounds of war ever recorded. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell. V1 Pulse Rocket the V-1 was a flying bomb developed by Germany in World War II. It was a 27-foot long cruise missile, and it was dropped over countries by the Luftwaffe, the German Air Force at the time. Inside it was an Argus Pulse Jet engine, and also created an incredibly creepy noise. This led to many Brits calling this the Doodlebug, or the Buzz Bomb. That's because before it went off, there was a terrifying buzzing noise. Just imagine the fear this would have striked into the people of Britain. During World War II, my grandmother was in junior school. Occasionally, a blast siren would go off. Her entire school would have to hide out in the bomb shelter under her school. One day, they were hiding out in this bomb shelter. That's when all of a sudden, they heard this exact noise. My grandmother and all of these school children kept saying, is it a doodle bug? But the teacher said, no, don't worry. Soon though, they heard a very large blast and it was in fact a doodle bug going off very near to the school. The effects of these doodle bugs caused great psychological harm to many people in Britain at the time. That's because people would hear the noise, but not know where the bomb would land. They would fall from 3,000 feet in the sky. And in World War II, Germany dropped over 10,000 on Britain alone. They would crash down on their targets at a speed of 400 miles per hour. In defense, the UK would use Hawker Tempests. These would try and intercept the bombs within six inches. Ghost Tape 10. Everyone knows one of the hardest battles the USA ever fought was the Vietnam War. The Viet Cong were super strong and would not surrender. So that's why the USA launched Operation Wandering Soul. This was a psychological warfare campaign against the Viet Cong. They would use speakers mounted on helicopters and boats. And from them, they would play a tape known as Ghost Tape 10. The tape had bizarre noises, funeral music, sobbing and crying. They played this to try and make the Viet Cong soldiers surrender and go home. That is because the sounds were so unsettling and creepy. Imagine having to hide out in a dark jungle at night hearing these sounds. But no one's sure how well this actually worked. The US typically fired upon anyone calling back to the voices. This may have been Viet Cong, but it may also have been innocent people. Aztec Whistle as I said, humans have been battling for thousands of years. And this of course goes all the way back to the times of the Aztecs. The Aztecs were a fierce tribe of warriors in Mexico. This was all the way back in the 1300s. Before battle, the Aztec warriors would use what's known as the Aztec Death Whistle. This was a tiny flute capable of making a very scary sound. It kind of sounds like a human scream or maybe a screaming banshee. They would blow this whistle while marching into battle. This would create screams all around their enemies, scaring them. The whistles were shaped as skulls and other jungle animals. In 1999, some archaeologists in Mexico found one. This was inside an ancient tomb, and the tomb was a temple devoted to Ehecatl. This is the god of wind. This leads researchers to now think that these whistles are meant to imitate strong winds, or maybe to summon some kind of storm to damage their enemy. Plasma Voice this one is straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it's actually reality. The US military is working on a non-lethal weapon. This is a talking ball of light. A piece of technology emits pulse lasers. 
This splits air molecules from their electrons, and thus creates a small ball of glowing plasma. The device then emits a second laser which manipulates that plasma, and this creates both light and sound effects. These can be sent out over large areas. The effect of this is a shrill whining noise. There's also very uncomfortable sounding glitching noises. And right now it can also play a very static, radio-like human voice. The USA believe that soon they'll be able to make the voice intelligible. This means they could command their own troops over a large area of land, or maybe say things to disorientate or scare the enemy. The goal of this is to terrify enemies with creepy voices, and maybe even give them fake orders so they don't know what to do. They could also be confused with random fake weapon sounds. This is a very creepy look into the future of warfare. Normal Adolf When you think of the most evil person in the world, you likely think of Adolf Hitler. You might have seen video and audio recordings of him, but I'm sure this was when he was making one of his angry loud speeches. That's creepy, but his natural speaking voice is even more ominous. In 1942, he was recorded secretly, and it's said to be one of the only recordings of his natural speaking voice. He was recorded in a train with Finland's general. During the meeting, Adolf began rambling and ranting. He was annoyed about the Soviet Union's gigantic military, and he said that he believed that he'd underestimated them. He said the USSR's tanks were crazy, and he also called the 35,000 tanks an immense armament. During the meeting, he asked Finland for help against the Soviet Union, but the Finnish general realized Hitler was weak and said no. He did this by lighting a cigar and realizing that Adolf didn't say anything, despite the fact that he had a well-known objection to smoking and did not like people smoking around him. Atomic Bomb Very few atomic bombs have ever gone off, but two that did were sent from the USA to Japan. These were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but survivors of these did not actually hear the nuclear blasts. Only those further away actually heard anything. This was a gigantic cracking sound. This is from the heat and air expanding in the sky. There was then a deep groaning sound from within the earth. That was the only existing recording of an atomic bomb. One hour after the bombs went off in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, survivors heard a big clap of thunder, and soon after that, thin black rain came down from the sky. War talk. In the 1970s, the USA developed the A-10 Thunderbolt II. This was a fighter jet, better known as the Warthog. It was first used during the Gulf War and is actually still used today. It has a gigantic cannon which can fire armor-piercing shells. These are made of very dangerous depleted uranium. The A-10 cannon is one of the most powerful weapons ever attached to an aircraft, and it can fire nearly 4,000 rounds per minute. It's also nicknamed the Warthog based on the sound it makes. The sound is created from the shells tearing open the sound barrier. This creates a massive ripping sound in the sky, and the aircraft itself makes a lot of rumbling noises. Soldiers have said that the warthog sound the cannon makes is one of the scariest sounds they've ever heard. It's so powerful that the plane had to be designed around it, not the other way around. And just the act of it firing actually slows down the aircraft's speed of flight. Hanoi Hanna Hanoi Hanna is a Vietnamese radio host. Her voice was one of the scariest things you could hear during the Vietnam War. She would speak in English, broadcasting from radio towers. These were meant to freak out US soldiers. She would try and intimidate them and shame them. No. 
and she would tell them to go home and stop fighting. Hannah learned English when she was young from watching the movie Gone with the Wind. And she also had rich parents who were able to give her private English lessons. She would say how bad the USA was and also address GIs directly. She would sometimes also scream to her microphone to make the soldiers scared. She would sometimes call out the exact locations of US Army units. And she would also name US troops who had passed away. Her broadcasts ran for eight years until 1973. To this day, her voice haunts many American vets. And it was part of Vietnam's psychological warfare campaign. Creepily, her identity is still a mystery to this day. Jericho Trumpets Jericho Trumpets were mounted on the Ju-87B dive bomber planes. They were used by Germany in the Second World War. The sirens created a loud and scary noise, and it was a symbol of German propaganda during Blitzkrieg. The sirens would intimidate enemies who they flew over, and it would also severely affect their enemies' morale. They were named after the Biblical Battle of Jericho. This is when Joshua's army brought down a city's walls using only the sound of trumpets. Now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the scariest sound of war. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. There's some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.